some aluminum in here. I'm going to make an adapter nut. This is a double start. Square thread, actually. And it's for a grinding attachment for making two strips of jerky at a time. Instead of just making a new nut for it, out of stainless and holding it on, he wants to use an adapter for now because he may get a grinder the same. So we're going to turn this down and cut threads in it. Two threads per inch. Do a little facing cut here, get it cleaned up, and see what we've got. Check out the set the gearing on the lathe to go down to two threads per inch. Okay, what I had to do on the end here to, to change the gears on the quick change gearbox. This gear up here is a 70 where normally I have the 35 up here and down here is the 35 where normally the 70 is. This is just an idler gear in between. So you have to take these off and swap them. And that way when you come over here, you get 70 on the stud, 
off the main drive, the 35 on the quick change gearbox, then you set your lever in this column for two threads per inch, and then A and C, which we've got A here and C here, and the slow speed, and that'll give us two threads per inch. The actual thread in the piece is four threads per inch, but it's a double start thread, so you have to cut your first cut, do it two threads per inch, and then rotate 180 degrees off, and cut the next set of threads will be in between the first ones, which will end up giving you four threads per inch. High speed steel tool bit that I ground at a right angle for while well, we're doing an Acme thread on this piece, because the other ones should be Acme instead of the square threads. Most places this is a newer piece, and they haven't used square threads for a lot of years. But we're gonna try Acme on this. I don't think it really shows up in the video, but there's two little light lines here where I tried it with another bit just to check the two threads per inch. I've got my relief cut to depth. And I've got an indicator set up here for the compound is actually set in perpendicular or parallel to the work, perpendicular to the cross feed. So I'll be feeding in a straight cut because after I get the first set of threads to depth, I've got to move it 250 thousandths in and that'll actually offset me by 180 degrees when I engage on the thread dial at the same spot. I've got the dial on the compound and this indicator is set for zero so I know when I get in my well, the threads are actually 48 thousandths deep. I'm going to go almost 50 to get a little bit of clearance and we'll get going and see what happens. Take a five thousandths cut at first to see what we see what we get. Fifty. 
squirting the whole thing. Thanks for watching.